Hey everyone, Team UDF here for more ZQuest tutorial Q&A. Today's question, is it possible to make lit candles emit a glow in dark rooms? And the short answer is yes it is. But first let's take a look at this normal room. We do have candles in it, but they don't really seem to be doing anything because this is a light room. However, if we head over here, ah, now we have a dark room with some lit torches. And as you can see, they work with Link and everything. The under combo, or not the under combos, but the layers are okay. We don't have the boss key, though, so we can't see what lies beyond, but yes. This is basically what a room with lit candles and some lighting tricks looks like. So, really, the only thing to do is see how it's done in ZQuest. Of course, this is done, able to be done, rather, in 2.10 and 2.5. I am using a specific tile set, but since you guys might not have the exact tiles I have, I will show you how the tiles are set up. So at the very least, you can try making your own tiles. Now, in reality, you could probably have success with this on any layer, probably except zero, but what I'm going to recommend is you use three through six, and maybe even strongly recommend that you just stick with five through six for this, because sometimes in your dungeon room design, you may actually want to use three and four for something else. So this is actually going to be fairly easy. You're going to see, I do have flags in this room, but that's from a previous video. You need no flags for this to work, you don't need any scripts, you don't need anything except basic knowledge of how layers work. I'm going to hit my F12 here, or if you're in 2.1, I'll just head to the layers button. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do it two ways, because depending on how many layers you add, you can add to the intensity of your darkness. So I'm just going to pick, I believe I'm using 14 for these things, and we're on screen 33, so I'm just going to keep it like that. However, Let's make it a transparent layer. I'm going to hit OK. Now I can work on layer 5. And I have these tiles over here. They are actually labeled for torch and stuff in the pure tile set version I'm using. And I'm going to just pick some black tiles. So like tiles that are just black. <laughs> Literally just black. I'm going to pick some black tiles and I'm just going to replace everything on this layer with these black tiles. There it is. Now the room kind of has a... It's, it's kind of shaded, it has a shade to it. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to take a look at my torch tiles, the tiles that are giving me light, and they are animated. So make sure you know how to animate tiles. Here's what some of them look like. I'm not going to go through really how to make these, or how to animate them, since I have done that in the past. But we will need a bunch of these things. Just pause the video if you're trying to make these. I don't mean to be, like, wasting your time or anything. I'm just showing them off. For those that are interested in making them, because they may not have them. And you could do flip vertically to get the same result here, so I'll just show off the middle one. Oops, not in that order, though. And actually, you can just do flip horizontally for these over here. There are some more like these here, I mean... You can see them in pure as well. Flip horizontally for these four over here. And I don't really, I don't know, I'm not going to really go through these down here. I don't tend to like them that much. Okay, so there are what the torch tiles look like. Let's actually put them on the screen now. Stay on layer 5. It's going to be a 3 by 2 And as you can see, it's, it's actually pretty much already there. And yeah, I know we're hitting the, the fact that there's, like, torch there, but you can just get rid of that easily. And since I have two lights here, I might try overlapping these a bit. There's a nice blank one here, so I can kind of work with it however I want. Just close up these corners. Ah, these overlap a bit. I didn't notice that too much. Uh, let's see if I can make use of any of these goofy ones. Nah, not really. Oh, wait. Nah. Okay, so there's some overlap here, but you get the general idea is that it would actually work. You could just set another layer, actually, and fix that, but I'm sticking to the basics here, even if it does look a bit silly now, Oops. especially since I missed and hit that corner there. So there you have it, really, and that's it. It's set up, ready to go, minus the fact that these tiles really aren't lined up and everything, they look kind of goofy, but that's just a kind of a hint and a heads up for you guys. When you're building your stuff like this, make sure you can align them correctly and everything. You kind of, you really can kind of fix this, but it just takes a bit of effort. 
kind of something like that, but then you just have to mess with those corners. But the main point is that it's done. Now I'm going to show you, maybe you're not satisfied with how dark it is in here. Oh, and yes, actually, if I... I forgot to show... Is this still on? Yeah, okay. So, like, if I use the candle here, nothing happens, because that's not what kind of dark room we're working with here. So, the room literally will stay like this, even if Link uses the candle or any of his other fire items. Same thing goes with the fire robes and everything. However, now, let's say we're not satisfied with this amount of darkness. All you have to do is copy the exact same layer, even, even the exact same map, the exact same screen. Just make it transparent, and... It's like, look, now it's even darker. And the torches actually look like they have a more profound effect on the room. I do it a third time, man, Link really won't be able to, he'll barely, he'll barely, uh, barely be able to see, barely be able to speak, rather, no, he can barely see anything in this darkness, really has to navigate the room using just these torches. You can make some kind of neat mazes or puzzles with this kind of stuff. I've never used more than two, but now it's just kind of interesting to look at them. Here's my final overhead layer, and look at that. It's not quite pitch black, it'll probably look pitch black on YouTube, but it's it's not. But while playing the game, it would be nigh impossible to even see what's going on in here with four layers of this darkness on the screen. So, you have actually kind of a customization thing you can even do. You can choose how dark it is in the room just through this trick. You could even add the fact that it's a dark room. Though, I don't know, sometimes making it a dark room kind of conflicts with this. Like, let me show you here if I can... Let me see if I can get an example of this on screen. I think it's best noticeable with two of them. So if I make this a dark room and check it out... Yeah. Yeah, this is the preview of what the room would look like while it's dark. And it's kind of odd. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but there are like these black blobs where the torch lights are. Mainly because I think it's just inverting the colors that are there or something, so it comes out looking a little wonky. You can actually see more, kind of, in the darkness than you can in the light. I don't know, it's, so I don't really recommend that unless you're... It might work with just one. Let's, let's try it with just one. Now, nah, see, this is what I'm talking about. You can definitely see it here. This is what the room would look like if it was a dark room and Link walk in, walked in. So you don't really want that. But yeah, that's really about it, so just... Cover your lair in transparent black tiles, set your torch tiles up wherever you want the light, and if you want more darkness, just add another layer, make it transparent in the exact same map and screen, just copy the work over. Super simple, super straightforward. That will actually do it for this episode of ZQuest Tutorial Q&A, because that's all I have to show you. Uh, if you have any more questions, ask them in the comments, otherwise I'll see you next time for more ZQuest Tutorial Q&A. Keep asking those questions, and I'll keep hopefully finding answers to them. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye!